I'm attorney Martin Nicholson from the law office of Martin Nicholson, and I'm going to talk about public indecency and Lauren Boebert. Now, Lauren Boebert is a representative from Colorado, and she was recently removed from a production of Beetlejuice because her and her date were acting inappropriately. They were basically groping one another, following one another in public. Now, the video shows him touching her breast and her having her hand between his legs. And in Colorado, if you caress or follow someone's private area of genitals, then that can be considered public indecency if you're doing it in a public place where people can see. And it seems like that met all the elements in Colorado. In Indiana, the code is basically similar to that, where if you are a person who knowingly or intentionally in a public place fondles the person's genitals or the genitals of another person, then this is public indecency. It's a class A misdemeanor. So they are in a public place. There's a lot of people looking around. Obviously, they were knew what they were doing and people could see and they were following each other's genitals. Now, the prosecutor has chosen not to prosecute. And I can understand why. Because all this publicity, you have people that are on the right that might support people on the left that are against her. She's kind of famous or infamous, depending on your view. And then all this is going to be right here on this town and it's going to cost a lot of money for a crime that is not all that serious. And the fact that this is a situation where she, because she's famous, is already being shamed and being ridiculed and stuff like that. So the punishment is almost already there, especially for someone that has kind of had this, you know, pro keep sex private and anti LGBTQ plus kind of agenda that here it is, she's acting uh, so li sexual liberate, liberated in public, but then wants everybody else to be sexually frustrated in a sense. So there is that shame because she got busted, right? So it's like, ah, I don't want to spend time and money dealing with this case. Now, would she be arrested or face a charge if she was someone that was not famous, that was not uh, you know, uh, in the public eye? Possibly. I've had clients that were arrested for public indecency because they had to use the bathroom and pulled over on the side of the road, tried to be out of public view. Officer drives by, sees them, and boom. Guess what? They're arrested for public indecency. So her celebrity status, infamous status, famous status may have helped her in this particular case. The politics may have kind of worked in her favor, but it's kind of a double-edged sword because now she's also being ridiculed. Me personally, I am not hating anyone that loves their partner, that likes to touch their partner, follow their genitals, make love, not war, my motto. So that's cool. But in this particular case, it seems like it was done in a place that maybe their children were around. It was kind of inappropriate to do it in public where it's just like, hey, do you guys can't have a little bit more control of yourself and, and do this in private because you're supposed to be here watching this um, um play of Beetlejuice it's like like when you're in high school and you know you're holding your girl's hand or you you know want her to masturbate you while you're in the movie theater or you're trying to fill her up you know this is like high school I mean you guys obviously are adults and can get a hotel room or or uh you know uh, got your own house or something like that that you could you could do that instead of doing it in public but the key here is public indecency and remember under the law, if you are following your genitals in public or the genitals of someone else, that can be considered public indecency if it's done in a place where other people could view. Know your rights and subscribe.